GPA required for Amazon was 6.5, whereas in Sprinkler there was no such criterion. It might have been a tiebreaker in some cases, but other than that, it played no significant role. And uh, Amazon was open to all branches, whereas Sprinkler was open only to CSC and MNC. <laughs> In Amazon, there were two rounds. The first round was online assessment, which had four parts debugging, logical reasoning, coding, and work style assessment. Then there was a technical interview, which lasted for about an hour and a half. And there were two coding questions and few questions on cash as well. Then in Sprinkler, there were four rounds in total. The first round was online assessment in which we had 90 minutes to solve three coding questions. Then there were two technical interviews and one HR round. In technical interviews, there were few coding questions. There were questions on OOPS. Also, there were questions like on Google search and history tab of browsers, etc. Then uh, also there was a discussion of my project and then questions of databases followed. Then in the HR round, there was a discussion on my resume. Then she asked, what do I know about Sprinkler and why would I prefer Sprinkler? And also she discussed the perks and culture of Sprinkler. <laughs> some notes and the questions provided by them for practice were really helpful. So keep asking your seniors and your batchmates, clarify all your doubts and do not leave them for tomorrow. And for competitive coding, give as many contests as possible. Even if your rating isn't increasing, be patient and make sure that after every contest you solve those questions which you couldn't during the contest. Only then you will see some progress. And learn from the coding styles of your batchmates and seniors that will let you improve. Then for interviews, since there are so many questions on geeks, lead code and interview bit, so make sure that you start your preparation well before the actual interviews in a planned manner so that you can go through most of them. Because when some question which you've already solved comes up in an interview, then your response will be quick and that will be beneficial. And make notes, make revision notes because in the last few days you cannot go through all the questions. So that will be helpful. <laughs> something first of all make sure that you have read the question carefully clarify any doubts that you have regarding the question and give the slightest idea that you have in your mind ask for hints and examples and even if that doesn't work then you can say that you haven't explored the topic and you don't know the answer which is better than giving a wrong answer <laughs> In some interviews, there might be a brief discussion on your project, whereas in others, they might spend a significant time in discussing your project as well. So it's better to have good projects so that you can have an edge over others. And when it comes to explaining, first of all, explain the problem which is solved by a project, then what all tools were required in creating it. And if it was a team project, 
then what was your role in it and also mention why you preferred some technologies in your project over other similar technologies and why you used that particular approach instead of some other approach <laughs> Soft skills such as communication skills, leadership, teamwork, time management and creativity are definitely required in a company and uh, I am a member of Manthan and the club has taught me teamwork, interaction and has let me gain confidence to perform in front of a crowd. <laughs> section with handles of various platforms and their ratings and uh, in the achievement section good global ranks and national ranks of hackathons and contests and any other achievements make a resume impressive and uh, your experience and some good projects team projects overall make a good impression <laughs> What I've learned from my experience and my friends' experiences is that be consistent and do not take a very long break from coding. Because there was a period of time when I wasn't practicing at all and that disrupted the flow completely. So when I resumed it, it took me some time to get back into that phase. Also, do not keep your doubts pending, clarify them and uh, keep your basics very clear. First of all, read the question very carefully. Make sure that you do not miss out any important detail. And in case you find that something is missing in the question which is required to proceed, then ask. And while writing a quote, if you are making certain assumptions, then mention them. And practice writing error-free clean quote. Then uh, do not take a very long pause. Speak up whatever approach comes in your mind because discussion is important. And if with the help of hints, examples and a discussion, you come to a conclusion, then that is also accepted in many cases. Then most importantly, be confident. And in case of virtual interviews, you have to type in front of the interviewer. That is, he'll be looking at your code while you're typing. So if you think that, can, that it can make you conscious, then practice coding in front of someone to overcome that consciousness. Also, luck plays a very significant role in this process so in case it wasn't your day don't get demotivated and keep practicing for the interviews that are lined up Amazon and Sprinkler was a good experience. I think I was lucky to have interviewers who were very calm and I was pretty comfortable in talking to them. Also, they provided me with feedback on how I can improve myself. So overall, it was a nice experience.
of the companies you're about to interview with and uh, give mock interviews so that you can have a fair amount of idea of your strengths and weaknesses as well as you can get comfortable with that environment and most importantly stay calm and confident and all the very best <laughs>